hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to solve for x using the method called completing the square. Now this method is not always used when you do algebraic equations, but it becomes very relevant when you are doing functions in grade 11 and it becomes extremely important when you're doing analytical geometry in grade 12. What we're trying to do is we're trying to change the form to a x minus p all squared plus q equals to 0. So we're trying to change the 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 into the form a into x minus p all squared plus q. Now a is the number that is in front. So we've already sorted a out. a is going to equal to 2. Now to get p, we're going to solve it by saying minus b over 2a. Now you know from your trinomials, we have ax squared minus bx plus c. So what is our b? Our b is minus 7. But remember, there is a minus by the equation also. So we have minus minus 7 all over 2. And what is a? a is the number in front, which is 2. So we have that p is equal to minus and minus is plus. So we have 7 over 4. How do we get q? To get q, we substitute p into the original. So we're going to have 2, open brackets, 7 over 4, all squared, minus 7, open brackets, 7 over 4, plus 6, which is going to equal to our Q. So we now have that Q is equal to, you can use your calculator, minus 1 over 8. Now how do we rewrite it? We're going to say 2 open brackets x minus and then what was our p? 7 over 4 close brackets squared plus our q which is minus 1 over 8. This is equal to what was the question equal to? 0. So this is equal to 0. When you're doing completing the square, you have to get the equation into standard form. So it will equal to 0 before you start. Now, we have to simply solve for x. To solve for x, we're going to have 2 into x minus 7 over 4 all squared and we're going to take the minus 1 over 8 over. So I have 1 over 8. Then we're going to get rid of the 2. So we divide both sides by 2. So we have x minus 7 over 4 all squared is equal to 1 over 60. Now to get rid of the square, we're going to root both sides. Now, when you root both sides, you're going to have x minus 7 over 4 is going to equal to 1 over 4. Or, you're going to have x minus 7 over 4 is going to equal to negative 1 over 4. Remember, when you root something, you have a positive and a negative answer. Now, you're going to solve for x. So, when we're solving for x, we're going to have x is going to equal to a quarter plus 7 over 4, which means x is going to equal to 2. And if we go this side, we're going to have x is equal to minus a quarter plus 7 over 4. So x is going to equal to 6 over 4. So that means x is going to equal to 1 and a half. Okay, now this is one way of doing completing the square. But there is another way. Right, let us take 
the second way. You would see that this method is more commonly used amongst the older teachers. More than the younger, newer teachers. Right, but it is a very helpful method, so it's nice to know both. However, if you choose one favorite, you can still use that same method throughout your syllabus. Now, when you're doing the second method, it is most important that A is always equal to 1. Now, if you look in this equation, you can see that A is not equal to 1. A is equal to 2. So when you start, you have to make A equal to 1. How are we going to do that? We're going to divide everything by 2. So what does our equation become? It becomes x squared minus 7 over 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. You cannot use this method unless your A is equal to 1. Now the next step is that you would move the constant over. So what that means is I'm moving the 3 over. So I now have x squared minus 7 over 2x is equal to minus 3. Then you're going to take your b You're going to take your b, you're going to times it by half, and you're going to square it. So what are we doing? We're going to take minus 7 over 2. We're going to times it by a half, which will give me minus 7 over 4. And then we are going to square it. So what do I end up with? 49 over 16. Now once you times it by half, you're going to add this value to both sides. So we're going to add our value to both sides. We now have x squared minus 7 over 2x plus 49 over 16 is equal to minus 3 plus 49 over 16. Now, why are we adding it to both sides? Maths is about balance. And if I add 49 over 16 to one side, I have to immediately add it to the other side so that it balances. Now, if you take this equation, it can now factorize to x minus 7 over 4 all squared, which is equal to, if you say minus 3 plus 49 over 16, you're going to get 1 over 16. Now look at what we had previously worked out. x minus 7 over 4 is equal to 1 over 16 and we now have x minus 7 over 4 all squared is equal to 1 over 16. So if you look at the two equations x minus 7 over 4 all squared is equal to 1 over 16 is exactly what you had come to if you had used this method. After that you would solve again by rooting both sides and we have x minus 7 over 4 is equal to 1 over 4 or x minus 7 over 4 is equal to minus 1 over 4 and then when you solve you have x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 1 and a half giving us the same answers that you had initially worked out. Thank you for watching.